Oh my goodness, that was nasty. Yo, I can actually clutch out this nuke if I get lucky here. Oh my god, I need to reload. How much, how close was I? I don't even know how close I was. So uh, what's up guys, it's here here by Nino or Quad G and welcome back to another video of Call of Duty Vanguard Multiplayer. In today's video, we're gonna be using the new tier 15 marksman rifle that you can get in the battle pass, the M1916. And one of its special properties, as you guys might have noticed in the nice little intro clip, is that you can make this marksman rifle a fully automatic marksman rifle. Essentially turning it into an assault rifle, which is really, really fun. And in today's video, I pretty much managed to build like a perfect full auto marksman rifle loadout for the M1916 and managed to drop a very nice V2 rocket. It sucks that I died on a 24 looking back on this footage uh, from the beginning, but at least I got another gameplay where I actually got the V2 rocket. So if you guys are excited to see the marksman rifle in action, see just how crazy it melts, and you guys want to be able to use the class setup for yourselves once you have the marksman rifle maxed out and leveled up, make sure you guys drop a like the video subscribe and turn on those post notifications we're on the road to 3,000 subscribers here on the more carnage hero channel so if you enjoy call of duty vanguard multiplayer cold war multiplayer or just some random videos here on the side then go ahead and do subscribe i appreciate you having you here on the channel and just know that you're absolutely freaking beautiful and amazing uh follow all of my socials if you desire to do so and without further ado i'm gonna show you guys this gameplay class it will be at the end if you want but watch the gameplay because this thing is absolutely beautiful just like you i also ended up using the one shot headshot barrel for this gun and i might show that in this video or i might not it'll see but i will show you guys the two class setups the full auto marksman rifle class setup and the one shot headshot marksman rifle class setup they're both very fun in their own right Anyways, enjoy the gameplay, guys. I'll see you guys again at the end with the class setups. Enjoy the gameplay. But man, having a full auto marksman rifle is basically like having an AR. This has a really slow reload at times, though. I don't think that's super annoying about this gun. It's a good gun. It's just like... If I want something done, I could just use a regular assault rifle. This at least makes... This marksman rifle kind of fun to use, which is uh, just fun. There you go, red dogs. If you just hold it down right here, we're good to go. I'm trying to see how these dudes uh, come in here. We need to get this local informant before the spawns go crazy. If those spawns go crazy, that's uh, the end of the world right there. I love holding this pawn trap right here. That's the spawn trap that works right there. Okay, they're gonna be spawning in the middle like crazy here. Okay. Oh my god. Come on, we gotta really take advantage of this local informants right here. We got this, we got this. Easy V2. I really wish I could have gotten that V2 in the beginning of the video. You know, you guys probably saw a couple of fails that I got. I really don't know how I choked. But there we go. Nice little V2 rocket with the M1916 assault rifle, Martin rifle. It's fully automatic, so that makes it an assault rifle in my eyes. Pretty fun. Something a little different to use. You could also use the one-shot headshot barrel. Because man, is it nasty with that one-shot headshot. But I like the full auto because it's a lot more uh, fun. You know, it's different to use. But one-shot headshots are very addicting as well. Especially if you can just spam them. But, uh... I can't really see how long of a gun you can hold here. But definitely, uh... 
Let's try this class out, man. Let me know what you guys think about uh, this marksman rifle. Do you guys like the new marksman rifle? The new assault rifle more. Both super, super freaking fun. I enjoy them both, like, very equally. What you doing here, homie? You chilling over there? It's a lot easier to camp here and hold stuff down. Hold on, there. Look at that gun. It has, like, no recoil. Great. Okay, I'm gonna back off real quick. Hold on. Let's push up a bit. One more person there. No, I'm gonna let them be. I feel like they're gonna flip on us here. On a 36 gun streak. Thought about holding spawns in positions on this game. Cause they spawn in this middle area like crazy. So just kind of holding it down like this is a nice way of doing stuff for yourself out here. Oh, there you go. This little 37, 38 gun streak. Maybe we can get a double V2. If not, well, you know, just try this full auto gun. It's uh, something something that might uh, surprise you, I guess you could say. It's better than the Guevara 43. That's for freaking sure. It's, it's, it's freaking great, just like you. It ends at a 175, I believe, so... I think we're gonna call it in right now. We're at a 17. Uh, can we get this clutch last second V2? No. <laughs> I was really trying to play that out, but I will take that. Freaking full auto marksman rifle. Just like the G43, but way better. It's uh, a lot of fun. Woo! Lester! Make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe to your new channel, post notifications. You already know we out here. You can get nuke with every weapon, as I've done so before. We'll continue to do so. It's the hope. But that is the, um, the V2 rocket there. And what do you guys think about this marksman rifle? Is it fun for you? Is it annoying? And, uh, yeah. 118 kills. I will take that. You're freaking awesome. Yes, sir. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that nice little 40 gun streak with the full auto M1916. This gun is really, really freaking fun to use and you can make it broken in two ways. As you guys saw, I made it fully automatic and it was really great in that way, but there's also a way to make it one shot headshot and make it really great in that way as well. I'll be showing you guys both class setups. First, I'll be going over the full auto class setup and I'll show you guys my modified one shot headshot class setup. But uh, here's the general loadout and now let me show you guys the 10 attachments to make this gun completely overpowered. For our muzzle, we have the G28 compensator for that extra recoil control. Since there's no recoil booster on this gun to boost the fire rate, I just think recoil control is very important on this gun because it has a good amount. And that's what the compensator is really good for. Plus, it gives you no cons. There's cons on almost every other attachment here. So I just think the compensator is the best way to go in this scenario. And now for our barrel, we want to make this gun fully automatic. So we use the Wyvern 532mm full auto, which is going to make the gun fully automatic, increase its fire rate, and of course, we get that extra ADS speed and vertical recoil control, so we, don't, we only have to worry about the horizontal direction. This makes the gun extremely overpowered, a three-shot automatic kill. And other marksman rifles have this, like the G43, but this gun has a higher magazine size, which makes it a lot more practical as kind of like an assault rifle, which is kind of fun. Optic that we use is a slate reflector. You can use an iron sight if you want, but I just like the slate reflector because it's really clean and accurate looking. Stock is going to be the Fitzherbert reinforced. I really like this because it helps us with our recoil control, aiming stability, accuracy, flinch resistance. It makes this gun really nice at long range. You can use it in short to medium range combat, but also at long range, which is what this gun kind of needs in my opinion, because it is a marksman rifle. Under barrel is going to be the M194 handstop for that recoil control and accuracy, once again making it a lot better at range. And for our magazine, the obvious choice is going to be the 40 round mags because you need as much ammo as possible if you're going to make this a fully automatic weapon. If you only have 20 rounds, then you're going to run out of ammo like really quickly, so having 40 rounds is really nice. You are going to feel a little bit slower, but having all that ammo is going to make this gun feel like a true AR, which is pretty insane because this is a marksman rifle. Which, considering this is World War II, and that's kind of weird, but still, it doesn't matter. Screw realism. Ammo type is going to be subsonic, so we could appear off the minimap every time we shoot. Rear grip, fabric grip for that ADS speed and sprint to fire speed, so we can bring up this gun faster, because it is a marksman rifle, so it's kind of heavy. 
proficiency is going to be vital so that we have increased area for critical hits so this gun can hit a little bit harder in full auto mode which is great and kit is going to be fully loaded so you have max starting ammo and we don't got to worry about ammo during our v2 rocket streak but yeah this is my uh freaking 10 attachment class it up for the full auto freaking version of this gun this gun feels really great as an assault rifle uh this marksman rifle is really great it bodies in three shots if you hit them to the chest and if you hit them in the head you can actually get a two shot kill which is pretty OP for a gun like this. So definitely try this out. However, if you wanted to make it a one-shot headshot killing machine, all you gotta do is change the barrel to the, what, what is it? The ZP Custom, because it gives you extra headshot damage. And change the magazine to the Sakura 20 round mag, because this is going to improve your recoil control and accuracy immensely, and you have a faster fire rate. So all you gotta do is just spam into your opponent's bullets and just hit the head and they'll just automatically get bodied and it's beautiful the sort of power you have and then your one shot kill range is actually boosted because of vital so not only are you, is it a one shot to the head but it's also like a one shot to like the neck slash upper chest area so you have a really big box for getting one shot kills and this is a very broken setup as well it's just that you run out of ammo really quickly and that's the only thing i don't like about it and the reload on this gun is kind of slow so that's the only thing that you're going to be kind of worried about but uh, you could try that setup as well. But I like it in fully auto mode. It's just really fun and kind of different to mess around with. And yeah, if you guys end up using this class up and finding success, make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and turning on those post notifications. And comment down in the comment section below how many kills and how many V2 rockets you end up having with this class setup. It makes me super happy to hear if my class setups are working out for you guys. But yeah, that's it for this video. I really appreciate you for watching to the end. You're absolutely freaking beautiful and amazing. And for the rest of the season, I'll try to upload more multiplayer videos. So I'll use the MP40, the STG, you know, anything that happens. Obviously make videos on store bundles if possible and all that good stuff. So if you want to tune in for all that, stay tuned. I really freaking love you guys from the bottom of my heart. Uh, it's been awesome to keep uploading on the second channel, uh, you know, more than the main sometimes. And I just want to say I really freaking love you guys. Anyways, I'll see you guys on the next one and bye. I love you all.